I was recently asked, what is the role of breathing uh, while doing yoga postures? Um, and I just wanted to take an opportunity to, uh, to answer that question here. Um, essentially, when we're doing yoga postures, we have two things we want to uh, find out about. Regulation of breath and awareness of breath. Uh, that means that essentially we can regulate the speed, the intensity, the pace of our breath. Um, or we can just become aware of the breath as it is. Um, so when we're practicing yoga asana, there's these two different ways that we can come into relationship with the breath. Uh, regulation is a very interesting one. Uh, for example, you can breathe uh, on, on the exhale, you can breathe twice as long as you do on the inhale. Uh, this in promotes a parasympathetic nervous system response, the rest and digest uh, nervous system, system response. Um, and, uh, and then you can also do sympathetic nervous system response breaths. So I'll give you two examples of that. One is two to one breathing, where you inhale through the nose for four seconds. And you exhale through the mouth for eight seconds. When you make an audible sound that engages the parasympathetic nervous system response, the rest and digest ner nervous system response. Um, and when you inhale, it actually promotes the uh, sympathetic nervous system response. But it's good to understand that in both of these cases, uh, at all times throughout the day, you're in a balance between sympathetic nervous system response and parasympathetic nervous system response. That means that uh, I am right now, I am balanced between my parasympathetic nervous system and the sympathetic. It means that I am doing this video, which is causing me some anxiety. Uh, and so that is giving me a little bit of a sympathetic nervous system response boost. Uh, I'm also somewhat relaxed as well. Um, so it's not a cut and dry thing. You're not always in fight or flight or in this thing, unless you're dealing with cases of trauma, uh, which can be different. So yeah, we've got regulation of the breath. And what does that mean for a yoga posture? Uh, well, so actually any yoga posture, um, meditation itself is a yoga posture. Uh, so when we sit in meditation, we are in a yoga posture uh, and we, um, the breathing is affected by how we sit. Uh, so that what that also means is that if we get up and we stretch, we put our arms up, this is also a form of meditation and this is also a yoga posture. Uh, and what this does is it places the arms above the head. And if I wanna regulate the breath, I can still do those regulations of the breath, but it changes the way the kind of inner parts of my body that puts different stress on my body. So, uh, so moving, and then regulating the breath can both be combined for a very effective practice, although it is very difficult to do this and usually only is suggested for uh, people who have a long uh, asana practice, who have been practicing asana for a long time. So uh, we've got regulation of the breath and how it um, moves with, uh, uh, how it combines with movement in order to give us a healthy stress that uh, can kind of tax the body in order for it to improve its functioning throughout the day. Uh, and then there's awareness of breath. And awareness of breath is a tricky one because that is essentially meditation. That's what most people understand is meditation. When you only become aware of the breath as it is, not as you want it to be, for example, and with regulation of the breath, nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong with regulating the breath. Um, but when awareness of breath, we just become aware of the breath as it is uh, and take a non-judgmental aspect, a non-judgmental um, viewpoint on how the breath should be. And we just let it be. This can be very deep. It can send us into states of knowledge insight into why uh, we are the way we are why do we breathe in this way why do, why am i why is my breath right now um tight why is it loose um asking you the, these questions inside of meditation can help us to kind of dig deeper into that that thread so it's a helpful helpful tool um and then awareness of breath can also be practiced in asana in yoga posture uh so you can you can be practicing yoga and you can uh just bring your awareness to your breath so when my hands are above my head how does that change my breath? Uh, well, for me, so it makes me put my arms up above my head, which causes some muscular engagement in the shoulders. And it changes the way that I'm breathing, or the way that my diaphragm descends into the belly. And so that's for me. Now you should try it on your own body. So I think that's about it uh, today. I just wanted to do an experiment with this live video. Um, and uh, share some information that I have uh, that you might not have. Um, I hope it was helpful.